Hello internet dwellers, my name is Alyssa, this is my channel, and today I'm going to be giving you a rapid review of the Divergent movie. Now, that movie was wicked awesome, and you could probably stop the video now because that was just going to be my review. So, I want this to be quick because I'm probably I'm going to go see it, I'm about to leave to go see it again tonight with a different group of friends, so I might make a discussion video this time of things I didn't notice the first time, and it's going to be really cool. So, the characters, we're going to start with them, the casting choices were phenomenal, I was kind of skeptical with Shailene, she's one of my favorite actresses, but I was like, I don't know how she's going to do it, she did great her emotions and the way she portrayed Chris as Tris as that underdog that we all love it was great because I know I've said great like 12 times but it was just so wicked awesome that it was ah uh, great <laughs> um four Theo did perfectly portraying him as that stony character that we all fell in love with because he's trying to be kind and he's kind to her and then um Caleb was erudite and now it was just, ugh, I can't even process how good this movie was. And it was really faithful to the books. I know some people are, some people I've heard were unhappy with things that they have left out, but I personally thought it was really faithful to the books. Um, I actually am going to read it again tonight while we wait, because we're gonna go wait in line for a few hours, and I'm gonna just start it, see anything that I missed in the books the first time, so I can compare it to anything I missed in the movie the first time. But on a scale from like Percy Jackson to Catching Fire, it was really near Catching Fire, just, it was faithful to the books, and Veronica Roth was in it, and she was a co-producer on it, so she had a little bit of say in there, I don't know how much that, I don't know how that works, but it, it was just really good, I totally recommend you going to see it, there was a few problems I had with it, like, I don't know if this counts as a spoiler, but I will put spoilers question mark in the description so you don't accidentally get it spoiled for you, so if you care, um, there was a character that was missing, and I will tell you the name in three, two, one, Edward. And he, it kind of upset me that he wasn't in there because he it does play a big part in Insurgent, to me at least, with the whole factionless thing. And I'm back, without any spoilers. And that part just kind of disappointed me. And there was just most of the, I feel like the relationships weren't as developed as I hoped they would be. Like the friendship between Christina and Tris, and the relationship between Tobias and Tris and just things like that nature. Also, I went with a friend who hadn't seen the movie yet. I mean, hadn't read the book before she saw the movie, which disappointed her, but we let her come anyways. And she was confused as to why the Eurydice were trying to take over the abnegation, so I feel like they didn't describe that well enough because they mentioned it in dialogue, but it wasn't as thorough as I would have hoped. I'm getting not near the three mark in my review, and this is it, so like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and now back to your regularly scheduled programming, which should be going to see the Divergent movie. It's two thumbs up.